In most cases, marijuana or weed ingestion in the dog are really easy to treat. The toughest thing is getting the pet owner just to be honest with me and be like, Yeah, Dr. Dan, my dog may have ate some weed. Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're going to talk about marijuana or weed ingestion by the doggy. What to expect if a pet owner notices their dog ate some weed. And in this video today, I'm going to go over what the pet owner may notice or the symptoms of marijuana ingestion and what the veterinarian will do once the pet rolls into the veterinary office with a possible marijuana or weed ingestion. Because of the legalization of marijuana in many states, we're seeing a lot more marijuana or weed ingestion by dogs. Marijuana ingestion by a dog, it can happen from edibles all the way to inhaled secondhand smoke. The most common symptoms from a dog that ingested or inhaled marijuana is neurologic. In the more mild cases, a pet owner will notice neurologic symptoms. These neurologic symptoms include a doggy who's just really tired, confused, tipsy, and their, their pupils may be dilated too. Now, if a pet owner interacts with the doggy, the doggy may get really confused. That may include the dog jumping up, overdoing it with their with their energy, like they're just way too active. And then they could be overstepping, over walking really quickly, um, just really, really confused. And that also may include barking a lot, being really vocal and loud, and then relaxing again once the interaction with the pet owner or whoever's in the room has gone away. In the more serious cases, it's still going to be neurologic just because of how the marijuana interacts with the dog's body. In more serious cases, where the dog is really small or the dog has ingested a large amount of marijuana, we may see more serious symptoms like seizures. In any case, the doggy needs to go see the veterinarian and that's where I roll into my next phase of this video. Probably the most important thing any pet owner can do is right away tell the veterinarian there's a good chance my dog got into some marijuana. There's a lot of things, guys, that can cause neurologic problems in doggies. And by being honest, the veterinarian will be able to treat and provide better care for the doggy quicker and more efficiently. Some tests any veterinarian is going to do will include some blood work and maybe even some urine. And this is just going to be a baseline. We want to make sure the dog is healthy and okay with all these symptoms we're having. Some veterinarians, and I included, I have tried, you know, different marijuana like drug tests before. Honestly, the variation I get with positive and negative is kind of pointless. I mean, it's, and, and, and I'm gonna treat the dog no matter what. Once the veterinarian has done some blood work and some urine and made sure the dog is okay and healthy, the veterinarian may, in conjunction with those tests, or after those tests, start the decontamination process. The veterinarian will give something to make the dog vomit. The veterinarian may also give some activated charcoal. This is going to bind up any of that additional weed or marijuana in the gut. That way the dog can't keep absorbing it and hopefully help reduce the continued symptoms. Let's say the dog is just a little stumbly, a little neurologic, tired, or you know, or hyper hyper excited, hyper vocal, you know, over overdone if they get interacted with. If that's only that's going on, the veterinarian will get some fluids to help keep the doggy hydrated by giving some fluids, IV, and letting some time pass. And after we decontaminate it, a lot of these dogs do just fine. They walk out of the clinic doing awesome. Now. If we did ingest more and we have more of a toxic effect from the marijuana, which includes seizures or other really serious neurologic conditions, we will probably give some kind of anticonvulsant or anti-seizure medication. Or if the dog's really nervous, we may give some kind of medication to calm the dog down. We just need to make sure that neurologically the dog is healthy and stable and not hyperactive, hyperstimulated, and not having seizures. The goal is to keep the dog hydrated, comfortable, and neurologically healthy until the marijuana weed has passed through the dog's body, been completely eliminated, and been metabolized by the dog's body. Once it's all gone, most dogs do very good and they recover beautifully. And then we talk about making sure any medications, weed, marijuana, 
anything prescription drugs that humans use for themselves are up and out of the way. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any experience or have dealt with your own doggy ingesting marijuana and your outcome, please provide some comments and support for anyone 